tornado, or what's being described as a tornado, ripped through the central North Island town of National Park today, destroying at least one house and damaging others. It tore along a narrow corridor to the north of the township for a minute or two. Our reporter, Andrew McRae, is there. He's on the corner of Carroll Street, where the road is closed. It looks rather wonderfully calm. In fact, it looks dead still behind you now, Andrew. But what happened earlier today? Well, it was around about 9.15, John, when uh, the uh, heavens opened. And then, as people have described it to me, a loud noise sort of came through and the tornado cut a swathe through the, the northern part of the town, starting and sort of coming from the northwest and cutting right across. So behind me is one of the blocks that is uh, closed. And right down Carroll Street, there are about five blocks right back to the main road. And uh, as you can people who are watching this can see the, the house behind me is uh, one of the ones that is uh, fairly badly damaged and uh, it's not looking promising for the owners of that particular property. No, it's not at all. We can see the roof is off and in fact uh, it's badly exposed to the elements now and people can either hear or see that it is starting to rain. <laughs> Actually, Andrew, it looks thoroughly unpleasant and we're very grateful we're standing there. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> uh, uh, what, what, so what are people going to do tonight if they can't go home? Because obviously there are evacuations in this community. Where are they all? Well, there's around about, in these five blocks, about 40 homes affected, and they range from really badly damaged, one totally destroyed, through to just um, reasonably minor structural damage. But no one's allowed back into their homes tonight. Uh, most people, I've been told, well, they can go to the, the Civil Defence Welfare Centre, but most people are going to stay the night with family and friends. And the council is ba basically, in the next hour or so, assessing all the houses just to see whether people can return in the morning. But at this stage, it's going to be dark shortly. So this entire end of town is uh, cordoned off and there are roadblocks at uh, each, each street leading into uh, this Carroll Street. Right, I'm just looking at the pictures we're overlaying as you speak and there's been, a, is, there's been a lot of damage. There is a sense now that the worst of it is over. I mean, it's unpleasant there now, but the really wild weather has gone, Andrew? Pretty much, John, yes. It was really wild this morning with the tornado and strong winds, but most of the afternoon it's been reasonably fine. When I arrived here, it was reasonably fine, though cold, but it's just in the last half hour or so that it's uh, clouded over, starting to get dark, and uh, the wind's picked up, bitterly cold, as I said, and it's starting to rain, so fairly unpleasant. People were expecting a storm, there's no question of that, but no one in this town was expecting a tornado to cut a sway through uh, 40 homes. Incredible. Uh, and you can see real damage in the pictures. Andrew McRae joining us in the centre of the North Island.